Anshuman uprooted the plant carefully, twisting it and pulling it hard so that the whole of it came out. Then his father drew his attention to the same weed growing at some distance. There it had grown into a big plant with tiny flowers and dark fruit. That could be quite dangerous. We mustn't leave it growing there. Take it out, said Anshuman's father. Anshuman held the plant in his hands and gave it a tug. The weed didn't move at all. He pulled harder and harder but to no avail. I can't get this out, exclaimed Anshuman. It has gone too deep into the soil. So, then his father brought some implements. They dug around the weed and with great effort pulled it out. So Anshuman removed the plant with all his strength that it finally came out. As pointed out by his father, there was the same weed growing at a distance. It was a bit taller as compared to the one he previously pulled out. So Anshuman's father asked him to pull out that plant as he thought it would be very bad and dangerous if it wasn't pulled out. He did everything he could. He used all his strength and might, but he failed. He was unable to pull it out at all. He was so worried and restless that he was unable to get the plant out. Eventually, his father helped him out by bringing some implements and dug around the weed and with a lot of effort managed to pull it out. Now, as you see over here, how Anshuman's father was teaching him a lesson in a way that Anshuman would understand. Like he was trying his best to pull out the weed, but he was unable to do so. But eventually, with the help of his father, he was able to pull it out. As they dug around the, the plant, after, after a point of time, with quite an effort, the weed was pulled out. When they were returning home after the hard work Anshuman's father mentioned, habits are like weeds. The longer you allow them to grow, the harder it is to uproot them. It is wise to get rid of them when 
it is easy to do so. Anshuman realized the truth in his father's words. Throughout his life, he never forgot that early morning walk on the farm with his father. Now as you see that both Anshuman and his father were on their way home. As they were heading towards home, Anshuman's father told him where he was comparing habits to weeds. He also explains the reason behind this comparison by explaining that if bad habits are rooted deep inside you, it will be very difficult to get out of it or get away from it unless it is corrected and taken out at the right time. Anshuman then realized what his father was trying to tell him and teach him at the same time as well and that all his life he will never forget his father's words of wisdom. He has understood what his father was trying to tell him, what he was trying to make him understand, why he was being scolded every time, what are the possible solution to take out the bad at the right time. When you know if things are not good for you, you will not do it. If they will hurt you or harm you, that build your personality, that build your behavior, that will bring any kind of sadness or unhappiness to your parents. You should avoid doing that. It is always better to talk it out, sort out things rather than getting upset over something that is really not necessary. And remember that when you are corrected in a way that you do not like, there must be some reason. Parents have their own ways of correcting their children whether we like it or not but they are your parents after all they will always want the best for you they will sacrifice things for you so that you live a good life you are comfortable you are provided with the basic needs, whatever you ask, you are given. So be a little considerate, understand their situation also when they scold you. I know it can be frustrating. It will not be as you want, uh, as you want it to go. But you need to have a little patience and trust their decision. If not, speak out, sort things out, clear things out so that there is no kind of misunderstanding. Okay? So, this is how Anshuman's father teaches him a lesson in such a way that he realized what his parents were trying to do all this while. And that 
it takes a lot of effort to build a person to build the personality of a person and it starts at a very young age and learning happens every day learning never stops learning has no age but yes your personality develops as you grow so you need to inculcate good things the good values that your parents teach you and that you can apply it in your day to day life you can try to be a better person and make them proud they should have pride over you when that you are their child always trust their instincts their decision as i said that they always want the best for you and they will do anything anything they will sacrifice anything to make sure that you are provided with the best of things irrespective of whatever the background may be but they will make sure within their capacity to whatever extent they can go they will provide you the best of things so you also need to make sure that you listen to them and you learn a message or you learn a lesson and you take away a message from this lesson that you should always listen to your parents at all the time till they are there with you till they are there beside you they will help you they will guide you they will do anything but they are also preparing you for a life that is outside this four walls of your house they want to protect you from that environment but also want to make you a strong and independent person so that when you move out for higher studies for college or for work when you grow up then not necessary they may be around you all the time so in order to be prepared for your future they may correct you now they may tell you what your mistakes are they may criticize you but criticism is good that helps you to be a better person that helps you to work on yourself on your personality to make you a better person to make you a good person they teach you certain values to be a good person to be a good human being to be good to others and never give them a chance to be ashamed of you don't be like anshuman initially and and later you will realize it no like in the case of the sto- uh, in the story of a thief when he was small he used to always rob things his mother never corrected him but as he grew up he started robbing bigger things and he was sent to jail to the extent that he was being hanged and he was asked what was his last wish so he said that i want to meet my mother and that's when he questions his mother why didn't you correct me when i was young when i was small when i used to rob small small things at in school if had you corrected me then i wouldn't be here so imagine how criticism can work for a child because there are different ways in criticizing a child criticism should be in such a way that it benefits a person it benefits a child not demotivates or demoralizes a person there should always be motivation to progress in your personality to progress in your behavior 
if you do not progress in your behavior in a good way you do not in inculcate the good values good values are given yes but it is up to you how you take it whether you want to value those values right so keep in mind that whatever decision your parents take it is for your benefit for your good so this is something for you all to think about try to work on your personality try to find out what flaws you all have what uh, bad habits you all have and try to change it you will see the difference not only for yourself but you will also see the difference in your parents they will be so happy for whatever if at all you have any bad habits and they have changed they could be they could not be any more happy than seeing you progress in be it academics be it personality be your behavior anything i'm sure that it will if one if you start with one change if you decide to change one bad habit you see how happy they will be one step at a time slowly you can try to build your personality so this brings us to the end of our lesson now you can read the text again and you can just make a note of your bad habits in rough you can make a note of your bad habits and prioritize it in such a way that which bad habit you want to change first okay first you will make a list in rough not fair you will make a list of your bad habits and what is the first main habit that you would want to change about yourself and then you see the difference and the change in your behavior in your personality okay